Big credit, you know, uh, defensively, we just uh, couldn't get anything going early in the game, and then you're digging out of a hole uh, the whole time. Um, but again, I think they have a they have a great vibe about them, and we don't. Um, so we'll go back home and see if we can scratch out a win against Boston College. We we could use one, but maybe we get Mooney. You know, we get Farrell into a little better practice rhythm. You know, and I thought in the second half he actually looked like himself a little bit. Um, get Mooney back Tuesday, and because uh, you know, we just can't afford to lose any more bodies. But again, I think you got to give State credit. I, I think he has done a fantastic job in his first year here. He, he's one of he's really one of our bright young coaches coaches in the profession. Really is, and he's gotten playing great. How much did the tighter rotation in the second half kind of helps going with five main guys? Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, that helped us a little bit. We, you know, you know that what kills us is we're getting some open looks early in a game, and we can't make them the last two games. And, and then, you know, for us right now, who we are offensively, we have to make some of those to have a chance. And we, the last two, we we haven't made them. But uh, yeah, that, that group got into a better rhythm. Again, again, I'm, you look for some silver linings when you're in the midst of what we're in right now. And. Matt Farrell, I thought in the second half, kind of looked like the Matt Farrell um, before the injury. So hopefully we can get him some two days of practice and he's coming a little more because he, he's obviously such a key for us. Mike, how do you keep the, the guys from Mike but not letting this thing sort of continue to beat up on them? Again, you, know, we, down. I, you know, it's funny. We have a really heck of, heck of a group. I've got an older group. I only have one freshman. You know, you see Bonzi. Those guys have all been very supportive. They're hanging in there. They're... And when you have older guys, sometimes they, they panic less. Um, you know, it's we are where we are in this thing, and um, I'm, I'm very, very realistic. I've rotated through this seat before, and you know, just try and get them back and um, see if we can play better at home. We have played better at home. We've, we've been better offensively at home. We haven't been able to score on the road. Um, and, and, you know, our crowd's been great. Our, our fans have been fabulous because I think they know, man, they really need us, given the, the, the situation with our personnel. So uh, see if we can get one. One, one can sometimes change the, the climate a little, but, um, but we're going to have to be a lot better to beat Boston College because they're very good and playing well. When did Matt return to practice? How many days he, he probably had a practice and a half Thursday and Friday. You know, I, I think we're trending the right way with him. Um, I thought he was moving good. He didn't show you know, any signs of, he had lift on his jump shot, which he didn't have when he was playing hurt. Um, now we got to get him in a little bit better shape. I think there's a conditioning issue there a little bit. Um, but uh, certainly, you know, we're, we're going to need him to play really well uh, for us to win any game the rest of the way. Your zone gave him great difficulty in South Bend. Uh, today, not so much. Yeah. Their improvement, mostly because of Markel Johnson's return, or do you see some other things? Yeah. Well, there's no question. Johnson changes them. You know, he can get in there and make plays, and they're a lot different team that, than we saw in South Bend, and, and I think he's the key. You know, he can distort the defense and get to the basket and make plays, and um, and I think their front line's playing great right now. They didn't play. They, they weren't, I don't know if they were playing great when we played them in South Bend. They're, they're rolling. And it, it, it's it's... They're really confident. They've had good wins, and um, they're feeling good. It's a, it's a vibe that, as a coach, you try to get your group to that. And uh, right now, he's got them believing, and they believe they're going to win in any situation. They came down, came back against Pittsburgh down, and so um, you know they're an NCAA tournament team. And they deserve it. This is your second flight to North Carolina in what five days? You get another one in about eight days. Second beating too. I got, I got they beat me hard in the triangle. And I got to come back. Um, any conversation among coaches and higher ups about go ahead, going to a schedule where you have like road trips and can you yeah. know like play two and yeah. one trip? I don't think that's going to happen. You know, travel partners or whatever. I think you know we're going to be obviously we go to twenty league games soon, and, and I don't know maybe I just don't see that format happening, um, you know, but yeah, we've got to come back one more time to another tough place to play. Like, I don't think in the past you've shied away from talking about tournament and seeding to your players during the season. Yeah. At this point right now with what you guys are going through, is that even a conversation or is it just... You know, I talked to him the other day, I put up the standings and I, and I told him, I said, you know, 
you know, we've gotten the double buy a couple times. These guys in that locker room, I, and I, I, I said, we, we ain't doing that. And, and I think they like we got no shot. But if we can get, if we could sneak our way into the middle of the pack, and that middle of the pack is jammed up a little bit, you know, and then you go to Brooklyn and see if you can have some Brooklyn magic. We play pretty well in Brooklyn. Bonzi possibly could be back for us for the tournament. You know, that, that's where that's where we're at at with it. And, um, but I gave him that State of the Union the other day, and um, you know, I, I'll tell you what was interesting against Duke the other night. Um, we're en route to our sixth straight loss. We're down 20, and the Duke students are chanting NIT. And my mindset is, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> I'll take that right now. Give when you're we're in your one. Where do I sign? I'll take that. That's that's not a negative at all right now. <laughs> and I kind of feel that way today too. But you know, you you win one or two, and and again, there's always power in our league. You know, you can get quality wins. Our numbers are really good, but I'm also very realistic where we're at, and um, so I'm coaching from that standpoint. Start wondering when it's going to end when movie goes down on Thursday. It's unbelievable. You know, you come back for one last segment of five on five to get Farrell some more five on five rhythm. And my man comes down on somebody, so it's. Uh, I guess it's our turn. We've been lucky, though. I mean, the last couple of years, man, we've been healthy and you know, firm believer. Law of averages, it comes back around to get you. And we're getting bit a little bit here. I mean, maybe we can get a little healthier for the for the back half of February. See where we're at. Thanks.